Okay, so in this video, I want to discuss the use of a limit switch and in particular how it's used with the micro bit itself and the all in one uh, robotics board by Kitronic. Now, a limit switch is fairly basic, it is a switch as you can tell by the name, and it usually has three separate pins. And on the limit switch, although it comes in all different shapes and sizes, um, it usually has identified on it what's the common pin. So you can see C here for common, NO for normally open, and NC for normally closed. Now, these are used in lots of different situations. If you are in the metalwork classroom where you'd usually see this, is on safety stops or you know on your laser cutter if the door is enclosed usually it's a limit switch that stops it from running because it wants to be closed before it runs and the same with let's say uh, a drill press where you'd have to have the door safety door closed and it's suppressed before the drill will run now it can be used in a lot of other applications uh, which we're going to discuss in another video in this one i just want to talk about how this in particular can be used with the micro bit now, before we go into too much information about how it can be used with the micro bit, I just want everyone to have a fairly basic understanding how the limit switch works. So on this page here, you can basically see a side section or cross section of a limit switch itself. So everything in purple here, you can consider your limit switch. And I want you to look at each of these blue circles as pivoting points for different elements of the limit switch itself. Now, in this diagram, um, this limit switch on the lever here, so this lever here is represented by this line above here, is in the open position. So it's not suppressed down, it's open. And when it's in that position, um, basically your common is attached to your normally closed part um, of your limit switch. Now, if this was suppressed, this lever here would actually close down, moving this one down, and it would be going to your normally open. Now, if we look at it in the context of this circuit itself, you can see we have a battery, so a power source of some kind. We have our plus going up to our limit switch, and then we have our minus going to two separate bulbs, one green and one red. Now, in this situation, when the lever is not being pressed, you can see that it travels all the ways around and comes out normally closed and goes through the green light turning it on and back to the battery okay and our red light is not on now if we were to press the switch down what would happen so if we were to press the switch our common now would be joining up to our normally open and our red light would go on okay so that's basically how our limit switch works it has our two different positions and depending on the, uh, the position it is in um, the different pin it comes out normally closed or normally open. Now what I want to do is basically show you this in operation with a micro bit. Now with the micro bit we're going to be using it in a bit of a different way. We're going to be using it to identify if it's open or closed to do a separate operation. For the micro bit we're going to light up the display the 5 by 5 matrix and depending on the position of the limit switch itself we are going to have a different image show up here. Now we're just going to have a quick look at the wiring diagram that we're going to be following. As you can see here, um, it's fairly simple. We're just going to have our limit switch. We're going to have our two separate wires and we're going to have our all-in-one breaker board with our micro bit inserted in it. We're going to have our common pin leading back to our ground pin over here. And we're just going to pick one of these pins, so normally closed or normally open, and bring it back to one of our analog pins on here. Now I know that pin O is an analog pin, so I'm going to choose that one. And I just for this sake, I'm just going to pick normally open. Now what we'll do is we'll jump over to our code and we'll see how we get on there. So now that we've moved over to our microbit code editor, we can start by deleting our on start block. We're going to be focusing on our forever block. We're going to make a variable. We're going to name that variable limit switch. And when we've made that variable, we're going to get this set a uh, few additional blocks. And we're going to use set limit switch to. And then we're going to find our pin, which we've connected up to our limit switch. Now, the pin we used other than ground was pin 0. And we're going to say analog read pin 0, like so. If you selected another analog 
um, pin, you can change it to that pin here, but we pick zero, so we're going to leave it at that. Then what we want to do is we want to use our logic so that we can use our limit switch. We're going to change this true block here by going back into logic again and getting a comparison block and dropping that in. Getting our variables again and dropping in limit switch. So if limit switch is equal to zero, then something will happen. Now the limit switch should only be equal to zero. So basically what's coming back from that, if it is pressed, okay? So if we've pressed down, that's the way we have it wired. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say that for us to know that, we are going to say that the LEDs show an X. Now, if this is not true, we want something else to happen. So I'm just going to press this plus and it's going to say else. And we are going to duplicate this box and we're going to put it in below here. And what we're going to do is we're going to show a square on our five by five matrix if the switch is not being pressed down. So if it's not equal to zero, which if it's not being pressed, it won't be equal to zero. So let's test this out. Okay, so once you have the code uploaded to your microbit, what you can do is ensure the power is turned on. Um, if you're having any problems, just ensure that your connectors are connected up properly. Straight off the bat, we can see we have our square showing. And what's going to happen as soon as we press our limit switch, we'll change to an X. Once we leave it go, back to a square, press it down again, X, and back to a square. 